What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trail back at again with another video. And today I'll be talking about Fred Van Vliet and why he's one of the most underrated players in the league. Now, what inspired me to make this video? I saw, you know, this Jazz versus Raptors game, right? Because I, this, he had his first triple double. So I decided to watch it. And the Raptors started out pretty slow. They started pretty slow. The, then they tried to make a comeback, then the Jazz kicked it back up. So they started the second half. They tried to make a comeback, the Jazz kicked it back up a little bit. But Fred Van Vliet, he went to a different zone. He just he went on a 17 to 2 run by himself. And it was 15 0 at one point. I'm like, yo, I have to do a video on this man. He need, he needs more love than what people give him. And from the reports, they say he was battling a knee injury since the All-Star break. So he, so he doing all of this on a bad knee. And then, and then come playoff time, he tried to give it his all, but his knee just gave out. Now, as a small guard myself, right, I look at guys like Isaiah Thomas, Nate Robinson, or like, you know, the smaller guys like Ed Smith. Bro. If you actually want to get better as a small guard, this is the man you need to be looking at. Fred Van Vliet, he brings it every night. He's one of the better defenders at, at that size. He, Raptors fans say he should have made all defensive team. From the field, it looked like he should have made all defensive team. Now, since we're on the topic of defense, the VB ball index, a most players that play 500 plus minutes. He's in the top 10% of matchup difficulty in on-ball defense. That's very impressive. And then if you go deeper in the website, they talk about they talk about badges. They give badges to, you know, for their skill set. I see the defense, he got pickpocket and off-ball pitch. Now, what's what's crazy to me about off-ball pitch, it was silver. It really could have been gold. Now from this jazz game right here, you see. He's, he's active in the pass lane. He always active in the pass lane. He got his arms out. Even when we play on ball, he got his arms out. So you check out this play right here. Off ball, he got his arms out. Then when when the Jazz player drives, he he comes in and swaps the ball away to get the steal. Now from this other example, Hassan they the Jack the Jazz threw the ball Hassan White side. And the Raptors big man, they make, made him, you know, stumble. Like, you know, he held his ground. Then for some watch, they started to lose the ball. And Fred Van Vliet came in and cleaned it up. Raptors fans can be annoying at times. Like, you came in for it. But right here, they are speaking facts. Like, he, this man could have made an all defensive team. This is why third team all defense need to be a thing. It's so many great defenders in the league now. Like you can, it just it just feel wrong just to leave guys like Perry Van Vliet, Herbert Jones. It's like it's just so hard to just leave them off the list. But they need to expand the all defensive team. This will be a problem. Now let's talk about Fred Van Vliet offense. He has twenty points, four rebounds, six assists, with fifty five true shooting percentage. Now you ask yourself, but he shot forty percent. Well, with small guards like him, you can't look at field goal percentage. And plus, who looks at field goal percentage anyways? That's just an old style people used to use. Now we use two shooting percentage. You use matches like two shooting percentage. But if you go to B-Ball Index, right, he's top 10 in three-point shot creation, okay? And he's top three in difficult shots. And you know what his shot die is? Pull up three points. As soon as he come up that pick, that shot going up. So, so when people try to bring the field goal percentage and try to, you know, make this player seem seem like he shoot better than this player, this this take it for granted. So, also from there, from B Ball Index chart, shout out to them by the way, one of the best websites for basketball. But yeah, from this chart. It says he's one of the best three-point pull-up shooters in the league. And from the film, it matches it. Like, every time. 
you got, you have to worry about his. Th- if you pull your draw, you have to worry about his three point, his pull three. You just have to. Also, with being five ten, five eleven, six like more than six foot, you you going to be a, like not a strong finisher at the moment. Like it, it's okay, but he do everything else at elite level. That finish is probably one of the only weaknesses in his game. Now I'm not sure how a KD package will look like, but I know for sure they're not giving up. They're not trying to give up Sky boards. But if they can somehow keep Scotty and Fred Van Vliet, right? And you pair him, you pair them up with KD, they are a serious threat for the championship because you actually got defenders around KD with defensive minded coach and Nick Nurse. They, and the thing they was missing from this past year against the Sixers, they needed somebody that could create tough shots. In the mid range and you know three, it just Pascal Siakam. Yeah, he can do it, but it's not that level of KD. And with that being said, I would say they will be the favorites in the East, in my opinion. And also with the Raptors and how they just like six nine dudes that can handle the ball. That's probably be the future model, you know, of the NBA. Just get six nine dudes who can play on the deck and you know can do other things. Like they, this is a what Wancho her and Gomez all poor like fours that can you know move with the ball. Now with all that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Is Fred Van Vliet underrated? Leave a like, share, subscribe. This is Trill, and I'm out.